Hola, welcome to Standard Deviant School Spanish. I'm Tessa Monroe. And I'm Kenyatta Rogers. Today's program, using adjectives. Imagine trying to have a conversation without adjectives. Food would taste, people would look, and no one would have a nice day because there'd be no just days. So if you want to express yourself, and you know you do, you'll want to check this out. Here's what we'll cover. First, we'll teach you the vocabulary you need. Then comes the grammar. We'll show you where to put adjectives and all the little grammar rules they follow for gender and number. Ready? Let's do it. There are several issues you have to consider when you use adjectives in Spanish. You already know that Spanish nouns are considered either masculine or feminine, and they can be either singular or plural. The adjectives which modify the nouns have to match the nouns in gender and in number. In other words, if the noun is masculine and plural, the adjective has to be masculine and plural as well. Also, the placement of adjectives in Spanish sentences is usually different from the placement of adjectives in English sentences. We'll explain all of this in detail, so hang in there. First, here's the vocabulary you need for this section. Sucio means dirty. And limpio means clean. Débil is the Spanish word for weak. Fuerte means strong. Feliz is happy. Triste is sad. A gato is a cat. And feo means ugly. Pájaro means bird. And tortuga means turtle. The adjective alto means tall. Bajo means short. I am a conejo. Inteligente means intelligent. Ratón means mouse. Simpático means friendly. And desagradable means disagreeable. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Remember, it's essential that your adjectives agree in gender and number with the nouns they modify. For example, if an adjective modifies a noun that's singular and feminine, the adjective must also be singular and feminine. If an adjective modifies a noun that's masculine and plural, the adjective must also be masculine and plural. A feminine adjective ends in A, and a masculine adjective ends in O. This is generally true of the nouns they modify as well. If you need the adjective to be plural, just add an S on the end. Remember, these are general rules. All languages break their own rules sometimes because languages are just like that. Pay close attention to the endings of the following adjectives. I am dirty. Estoy sucia! Sucia is an adjective that means dirty. Since Rosa is a woman talking about herself, she uses the singular feminine form of the adjective. Hey, how can you tell that Susia is singular? There's no S at the end. <laughs> oh, yeah. We are dirty. Estamos sucios! <laughs> now there are two idiotas in the mud. Rosa is referring to both herself and Manuel. Sucios is the masculine plural form of the adjective. You can tell it's plural because it has an S on the end. Rosa uses the masculine form because Manuel is a man. When one or more of a group is male, use the masculine form of adjectives. They are clean. Están limpias. Limpias is an adjective that means clean. Manuel the mud boy is referring to women, so he uses the feminine form of the adjective. Notice the A in limpias. And since he's referring to more than one woman, he uses the plural form of the adjective by adding an S to the end of it. Okay, so we went through the whole thing about adjectives ending in A or O. Here comes the monkey wrench. There are a few Spanish adjectives that either end in E, such as triste, which means sad, or end in a consonant, such as débil, which means weak. When you use an adjective that ends in E, such as triste, in its singular form, you can keep the E ending regardless of whether the noun it modifies is masculine or feminine. You only have to consider the numbers. If your noun is plural, just add S to the adjective. Triste would become tristes if it modified a plural noun. She is sad. Ella está triste. The subject ella 
is singular and feminine, so we use the singular form of the adjective triste. The E ending remains just E. If both of the people at the table were sad, we'd say, ellos están tristes. Now we have a masculine plural subject, ellos, so we add S to the adjective triste. It doesn't matter that ellos is masculine. Since triste ends in E, you don't have to consider the gender of the subject, only the number, singular or plural. We use the verb estar when we talk about my deep sadness. Because I'm not going to cry over spilled milk anymore. The condition was temporary. Now we'll show you an adjective that ends in a consonant. David is an adjective that means weak. When you use this adjective with any singular oh. noun, use the form David, oh. regardless of whether the noun is masculine or feminine. If your subject is plural, use the plural form debilis. Since débil ends in a consonant, you have to add ES to make it plural. You can't just add S. That's just the way they do it in Spanish. Gender just doesn't matter with adjectives that end in a consonant. You only have to match the number, singular or plural. So far, we've been practicing sentences that put the adjective after a verb, like he is weak, el es débil. Sometimes adjectives go right beside the noun they modify, like in the phrase the ugly cat. In English, we put the adjective ugly before the noun cat. In Spanish, the adjective usually goes after the noun it modifies. The phrase the ugly cat would be el gato feo. The adjective feo, which means ugly, goes after the noun gato, which means cat. If the cat was a girl, it wouldn't be el gato feo. It would be la gata fea. La gata fea. Let's get a little more practice using the proper forms of adjectives. The intelligent mouse. El ratón inteligente. The tall turtle. La tortuga alta. The disagreeable rabbit. El conejo desagradable. The strong bird. El pajaro fuerte. Now, it may have occurred to you that in all of our examples, we only use one adjective. And so you ask yourself, how do you use two adjectives in Spanish? When using two adjectives, you follow the same rules as with one adjective, but you put a Y, that's E in Spanish, between the two words. So if you want to say the tall, strong turtle, you say la tortuga alta y fuerte. And if you want to say the happy, friendly woman, you'd say la mujer feliz y simpática. Okay, review time. Here are the rules for adjectives. One, all adjectives must match their noun in both gender and number. Two, if the adjective is after the verb, then it follows the same rules as English. Three, if the adjective is with the noun, then it comes after the noun, not before it, like in English. Four, two adjectives are connected with E. Well, folks, that does it for our look at using descriptive adjectives. We hope you learned a lot and enjoyed yourself as well. It was great. It was... Fantastic. It was just, just indescribable. I'm Tessa Monroe. Thanks for watching Standard Deviant School. And I'm Kenyatta Rogers. Take care.